today? Easter. Easter. And uh, this morning, by the way, uh, we went to the morning uh, service at the uh, church office uh, this morning, and it was good. Uh, Greg Williams was there uh, early in the morning, but it was very cold. So that was a good experience. It was a early morning service uh, celebrating uh, the resurrection and uh, something I learned also from, uh, from Greg where he mentioned that actually there is a number of uh, so-called resurrections. I mean Christ is the real one, but there were others that were also resurrected like in the Old Testament. Uh, you know, resurrected as in death, becoming alive. So I wonder if you know what they are. Um, in the Old Testament, for example, there was Elijah uh, who, should we say, resurrected or made alive the son of the Sarephat's widow. That's, that's one. Uh, there is Elisha that also made um, alive the son of the great Shunammite woman. And there was, uh, this is interesting, this is... Uh, a dead man, this one is in uh, Kings uh, 13, 21, it says, A dead man comes back to life while he was being buried. Mm -hmm. And then the body touched Elisha's bones and he came alive. You know, that is, wow, it's amazing. Now in the New Testament, uh, quite a few from Jesus. Jesus resurrects the uh, widow son of Nain, the widow son of Nain. That's in Luke uh, 7. Jesus also raises Jairus' daughter from the dead. That's Jesus. Uh, the, the Bible also talks about um, many saints uh, rose from the dead at Jesus Christ's crucifixion. That's in Matthew 27, 52. But of course, the one that we remember very well is Jesus raising from the dead who? Lazarus. Lazarus. Yeah, that's, that's common. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Of course, Christ's resurrection is one. Uh, Peter raised uh, a female disciple named Tabitha. That's one. Uh, here's one that I really like. Uh, Paul raises Eutychus from the dead. You know, he was uh, up there on the second floor, and Paul was preaching. And Eutychus fell asleep, <laughs> fell from the window, you know, died, and Paul went down and uh, raised him from the dead. So, I mean, even the Apostle Paul in Acts 14, it says that he was stoned, you know, and basically when they stone you, you die. And uh, the scripture says there's a strong possibility that probably Paul was raised, you know, uh, from the dead. So... There were quite a few, but the main one that really matters and something we will talk today is the resurrection of Jesus because that has a huge, a big implication as far as you, you and I, and that's what um, we'll talk about today. Uh, but before that, I just want to greet people uh, today. We have a bir birthday a person uh, today, Annette, right? Day, Annette Williams. And a wedding anniversary for Abel and Jelly. Wow. <laughs> two years. Oh, two years, right? Two. Anybody else that we miss? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Anne Marie and Debbie have to rush home. Uh, somebody forgot to turn off their stove. So I have to go. Good thing she lives close by. So they have to go back and uh, turn that off. But, anyways. Uh, uh, today we will have a celebration after our uh, church service, so you're all invited. I think we have uh, quite a lot of uh, food. And uh, uh, Otto, you want to say something, some announcement to give? Yeah. yeah. So some, a few people have heard, but uh, I've had lots of different talks about my plan for the future with my wife and I. And after, what, just over five years, coming to New Life, and we have two more Sundays, we're coming, and then we're going to move out of state to Florida, back home, to be close to her son. Um, so it's a good reason. It's not like we're failing you know, everybody. Um, and we, we got a place to stay, and she'll probably have a job pretty quick here. And um, so two more Sundays. Randy will be here in the, the last Sunday I'll be here, which is the uh, 19th. Michelle should be here next Sunday for her last Sunday. And so, uh, so yeah, the end of this month, the 25th, we'll be driving across country to Florida. And 
and uh, probably be back next summer to visit, to pack up, to move permanently to Texas. But, uh, but that's that's the big news of my life, and uh, yeah, so that's it. And, and so the camping trip, trip is still on. I'll kind of try to find somebody to be a, a kind of a point of contact, but it's all set up. Just people got to show up, and you know, and all that. So, but I'll get with somebody on that. Maybe I'm thinking maybe Ezra to help me out for this one. So, uh, but okay, that, that's it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> We do appreciate you very much. Uh, you have been a big, 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 big help. You know, uh, not only with the uh, uh, PowerPoint projection or EC worship, but many, many other things. Uh, you and Randy, we really appreciate you very much. And we should have a bye-bye party for them. You know, mm -hmm. uh, April the twenty-fifth is your last. Yeah, so it's your last. Time. Okay. Well, and who knows? You know, things always change. You know, <laughs> things always change. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. We have a, a prayer request here from, from Judy. Um, Judy's uh, daughter, Rosalind, uh, Rosalind's mother-in-law, Opal Williams. Uh, so, Opal Williams um, and the, the David and Danae and Destiny, they are, those are the children of Rosalind. And uh, their grandmother, Opal Williams, has stopped eating and uh, communicating. Judy is very close to her, and Opal has uh, cancer, uh, metastasized, and uh, she is staying with uh, David, the son. And Judy is requesting our prayers, prayers for her, for Rosalind, and for also let's be praying for uh, Nana Judy. That's how they call her, Nana Judy. Um, so let's go to God in prayer and ask God's uh, uh, intervention and blessings. Almighty God, we come to you today. First of all, Lord, thank you so much that we can all come here and, and remember what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross. But what a joy it is, Lord God, that that is not the end of the story. That after three days, Lord God, on the third day, Jesus Christ rose again. Because, Lord, all of that he did because he loves us. He died for us. He rose from the dead because he loves us. And now he's alive or something that we can celebrate. And that has tremendous impact in our lives today. We have hope. For even the Apostle Paul said, if there is no resurrection, what are we doing here? It is for that reason, Lord, that we are here and we have hope. Because of what Jesus Christ has done because of the power that you have, that you can make the dead live again, and the love that you have, Lord, that even in our sins, Lord God, you have, Lord, made us guiltless because of Christ's sacrifice, because we cannot on our own ever, ever earn our salvation, but through Christ. So thank you, Lord God, that we are here. Thank you for your people. Uh, we pray, Lord, uh, for Opal, uh, and for the family and for Judy, we pray for strength, for comfort. We pray, God, for your intervention. And uh, even if sometimes the medical professions would say it's hopeless, uh, but we don't believe that, Lord God. We believe in, in you. We submit her into your hands and knowing that uh, you know what is best for her. We know that there's something good for her, but also something good for all of us here, Lord. We know, Lord God, that you have purposed for us uh, eternal life of, of joy. So thank you. We thank you, Lord, for those who are having birthdays, for Annette. We thank you also for Abel and Jelly, for the life that they have as husband and wife. We thank you, Lord, for this congregation, for your presence in each of our lives, for being there always with us, Lord. Thank you for your daily encouragement, for your sustenance, for your provision for your comfort, for the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, and thank you also for um, Otto and Randy for all the services that they've done. Lord, thank you. We know it's you. Uh, thank you for their love, and, and we love them too, and uh, they will be missed. Thank you, Lord, for everything and all the blessings that you have provided for us, even blessings that we don't know. And all this, Lord, we ask and pray in the holy name of Jesus Christ, amen.